This week, we're going to be looking at one of the coolest features of the BBC Microbit, and that is its built-in sensors. If we go under input, you'll see that there's a range here of things we can do. So we can uh, test to see if we're shaking the microbit. We can test its current acceleration, the light level, the compass heading, uh, which is what direction it's pointing in, and the current temperature. And it's these two that we're going to be focused on this week. So our very first task is we're going to make a very simple compass that just shows the degrees that we are pointing toward. So we don't need on start for this. Instead, we're going to be using the forever loop because we want it to continuously update our display. And we just want to show a number. And the number we want to show, we're going to get directly from our compass by grabbing the compass heading puzzle piece and dropping it into the slot. And immediately, you will see that our um, simulator updates the display. It shows 90 because in the simulator, it doesn't have a compass, so it just pretends it's pointing to 90 degrees. So what I'd like you to do now is to go and just build that very simple little program and download it and put it on your own microbits. When you do that, you'll see that when the uh, microbit starts up, it asks you to draw a circle. It's not that it's downloaded the wrong code um, and it's now trying to play a game. It's that it needs you to draw that circle in order to calibrate the compass so that the compass knows where north, south, east, west are. So once you've drawn the circle by tilting your microbit around, it should give you a smiley face and then it will start showing you your degrees. Okay, so hopefully you've got a basic compass working on your microbits now. Uh, so now we're going to improve it a little bit and we're going to make it say north or n, s, e and w on the screen depending on whether you're pointing at north, south, east or west. So to do that we're going to remove that little block and we're going to put an if block in because we're going to test if the degrees or the compass heading is 90 degrees point east for example. So we're going to use logic and we're going to need if and our test is going to be if you go under logic again we're going to need an equals sign get an equals to input compass heading so if the compass heading is zero then point to north so or show north on the screen so we're going to use basic show a string and I'm just going to put an n in there now we want to adapt this so it also shows if it's pointing east, west or south. So we're going to modify our if block to include some else ifs, which we can get by clicking on this little cog. And we just add them on down here. And we're going to need four of them. If, else if, else if, else if. That then, if we click that off, that adds them to this master block where we can put them in. And we can make use of duplication here to save some time. So if we right click on this block and do duplicate, we can drag the whole thing in there. And we'll say this time, if it's pointing at 90 degrees, duplicate this one, uh, we want it to show east. And I can go on and do the same for south and west. OK, so if you go now and download this code and put it on your micro bit, what you should see is that it will update as you point north, east, south and west. However, you might find it's a little bit difficult to control um, and actually it's actually really hard to get exactly on 90 degrees or 180 degrees or 270 degrees for west. But we'll look at that in a minute and see if we can improve it. Welcome back. By now, you should have a simple compass um, which, when pointing exactly at zero, or at 90, or at 180, or at 270, it will give you N, E, S, or W on the screen. But as you've probably found out, it's quite difficult to get it to do that. So what we're going to do now is look at improving this by having boundaries so it doesn't have to be dead on 90 degrees but it can be within 20 degrees either side 
of our bearing and that will give us enough uh, closeness for us to trigger the, uh, the symbol that we need. So let's have a little look at how this could work. Um, east is probably the easiest example to start with. So if 90 degrees is bang on east, let's make it that you can go anything between um, 70 degrees, so that's 20 less than 90, and 110 degrees, that's 20 more than 90, and if you're in anywhere in that kind of ballpark, it will show east on the screen. So it won't be the most accurate compass, but it will be a good approximation. So to do this, we're going to need to uh, extend our else if, so that it includes um, an and. And we're gonna say, oops, I need to get that in. And we're gonna say if, the compass bearing is greater than or equal to 70 degrees. And let's duplicate this. And the compass bearing is less than or equal to 110 degrees. Now it's going to show the east in that kind of corridor around the east bearing. I'll just show you how to do it with north. It's a bit more complicated with north. The idea is similar. So I'm going to duplicate that whole block. In fact, I'll delete this one. And I'll pop it in here. But the difficulty with north is that our measure is going to be either greater than 340 degrees, because 360 degrees is the, the complete circle and that's where we start at zero again. So we want between 340 and 360, so greater than or equal to 340 or less than or equal to 20 degrees. We can't use an and because there's no number that's greater than 340 and less than 20. It has to be or and that's because we're sort of going all the way round and wrapping around the start of the compass again. Okay, so that's the code you need in order to get started. That shows you how to get your corridor around your north and your east. Uh, I'd like you to go away and try and do the same now for your south and your west, and then to run that uh, program on your microbit and to test it out and see if it works like the one that I've made in the video. That follows. When you first uh, restart your microbit with your compass app on, it'll ask you to draw a circle, and that's so that you can calibrate the compass. So you have to tilt it round, it's a bit fiddly, until the circle is drawn. And once it's all drawn, you'll get a smiley face and then our program works. So as you can see now as I turn around, I'm pointing east. And now I'm pointing south. And now I'm pointing west. And now I'm pointing north. And that's my little compass working.